Understanding the science behind cardiac arrest and emergent situations really helps you understand the right kind of therapies. As we know, change is never easy. And so it was a very strong collaborative effort that eventually led to the development of the Advanced Resuscitation Training Program. When there's a code, the pager goes off, and whenever the pager goes off, everyone stops for a second, think, is that going to be a code blue or some other announcement? And it's a code blue, then everyone runs to the code. An announcement overhead always starts with a little click. Everyone jumps when they hear that. And it doesn't go away when you go to the grocery store or a shopping mall and you hear an overhead announcement. That first click jumps your heart rate a little bit and you get ready to run to help somebody out. When there's good leadership, it can run very, very smoothly and it can be rather quiet. And everyone knows their role. Everyone's doing things in a timely fashion. There should be one code leader and one code nurse communicating, somebody at the airway, somebody doing compression, somebody giving medications. You're seeing input and technology show you that things are moving in the right direction and ultimately once you get the, the result that you need, people jump into place and do what's necessary just for the next step. Art is a very comprehensive approach to the critical illness in the hospital. Everything from preventing a bad event to getting somebody through it to treating them afterwards. All it is is taking a, one institution's experience, evaluating what types of arrests and what type of patient events occur and then using that quality improvement and performance improvement data to then approach the education in a, in a facile way that can allow providers to do the best for their patients. What the art program has really done is brought all the disciplines closer together and talking a little bit more than they used to for a common goal, and that's improved patient care. It's time intensive, but it's worth it. And we analyze every single case in detail and then we quantify what the issues were. Was this a failure to recognize deterioration? We also worked really hard to integrate things that had actually happened with patients that we had seen in quality variance reports. And we took up-to-date science, changed our algorithms based on the events that we saw. The great outcome from this program has been a statistically significant increased survival of patients from codes, increased survival of patients to discharge. And since this program has started, the number of rapid responses have increased and the number of code blues have decreased. At UCSD, with the advances that we've done, our survival is around 45% after cardiac arrest, which is quite a significant improvement. And that's been sustained over the last several years. In addition, we've introduced art to other hospitals in San Diego, and at our, our local VA, survival there is 35%, which is also double national average. It's remarkable. I'm invigorated. I, I, I think that the one of the results of being a teacher here and conveying this and looking for that light bulb in each individual provider, I'm ready to go to every single cardiac arrest, be a part of it, and feel like I can really make a difference.